a lot of our students never feel safe. A lot of our students have tough home lives or um, teachers who are just frayed at the edges because they're so frustrated all the time. And so because of that, they go from home to school to, you know, every other place in their life that just isn't safe and it isn't loving. And so we want to give them that. We want to say, okay, you know, the rest of your life may be really hard and you may be frustrated and you may be angry, but for this hour, you're safe. For this hour, everyone respects you. For this hour, you can trust everybody in this room. So DEEP is a nonprofit based in Savannah and what we do is run free after school writing programs for local public school students. So our goal is to help kids become better writers to help students uh, get excited about writing and to turn them into published authors. is an alternative school for students who have been expelled from their regular schools. <laughs> students there have committed anything from fighting in the cafeteria to sex offender felonies. Um, it's a really wide range of students. You like that? It's okay. Sometimes it feels like a prison. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on everybody's attitude and which days and what days they're having, what days they're not having. I mean, it's got, it teaches you to learn from your mistakes and choose me and for you to become a better person. I, I, at first I didn't really like it, but since I'm in these different programs, I kind of sort of start to like it now, like a little more. Most of them don't have a lot of support in their lives in terms of a really stable background or a stable home life. A lot of them have anger issues or emotional trauma or sometimes even physical trauma in their past. How'd you end up coming to Scott? With frails and fighting. You're fighting? The girl thought she was going to bully me because I was quiet. Oh, she was bullying you? She wasn't that like bullying me. She just liked to say smart comments. So one day she came to the classroom and just put her hands in my face. And you, you, and you just fall back? No, I hit her back. <laughs> I, they say bullying, but I say so. Okay, do you want to tell a story? It's pretty ridiculous putting a picture of somebody doing something inappropriate in the bathroom on Facebook and them being embarrassed by it and trying to question I feel like there's a reason that if I do something, a reason for every action, I feel that the other person is a hero, but at the same time, I can't change it. I'll, I do my time, then I get to go back. They say two teachers got hurt. And we didn't stop. It's not a good situation. I know that was not the answer, but if somebody hits you, you got to stand up with yourself. Uh, yes, I got expelled from the ring for fighting in the locker room. The girl's mother, um, she pressed charges, so they sent me here and expelled me from the ring. I felt like I could have did better, thought better, and you know, 
did better about the situation. I could have told the coaches or something instead of just reacting or following my first mind. But at the time, I have a very hard temper, so at the time, I wasn't thinking about it. I was just thinking about fighting at the time. But like I said, I made a very big mistake, but it won't happen again. One thing that we do in DEEP, particularly at a school like Scott, where most of our students have suffered from some kind of emotional trauma, we ask our students to write about that. And that's incredibly therapeutic for the students to do. Um, I like DEEP because I like poetry and I like to write. And I like, I mostly like persuasive writing because I like to get my point across and pain. And it's like, it's a fun program me to be in and I like books so I would like to read my own books sometimes. You get to write about things that you feel and then think of. You can't tell certain teachers something because they are thinking like in a fit of way from all of that. Oh my gosh, I love it because we get to talk about anything and we get to be free and express all our feelings and we get to write about stuff that we have on our mind and we share it with the class and everybody has their own different opinion and everybody just sees themselves in the group. Do you feel like it's, you know, made your time here at Scott better? Yeah, sometimes it has because some days I was just like, I can't wait. I can't wait to get to deep on Friday because I just feel like writing. I can't express myself during class because it's like, I can't, I can't express myself during class because it's like I don't have time to write. But when I get to deep, I just everything just comes out on piece of paper. I really look forward to it because when they signed me, when they signed me as deep, I thought I wasn't really gonna have that much fun. But uh, now, since I'm starting to learn stuff and starting to write stuff that I really like to do, it's like a better experience for me for me, like in the future, like if I want to write my own book later on, it would help me with that. I think Scott students in particular need a place that is safe for them, and they need a place where they can say what they're thinking without judgment or without criticism. I think that a lot of students at Scott have experienced a lot of judgment Right. I mean, many of them are convicted of misdemeanors or even felonies, and so they're used to having people stare at them and say, no, you're bad, or what you're thinking is wrong. They need a place where it's okay for them to just be who they are and to talk about what they feel and to use that to grow and to learn without anyone shaking a finger at them or saying you're a horrible person. It's given me an opportunity to get more stuff out that I had on my mind that I couldn't write about and I feel like I'm around with people that I can trust. When I read what I wrote, they comment on it and they give me comments and they tell me that it's good, whether it's bad, or that I need to write more about it to express my feelings. I feel like now that I'm learning my lesson from making dumb mistakes and uh, these programs that I'm in, um, it, it's helping me learn that next time I probably won't do it again because in my key club, I'm the president and I should actually have more leadership skills and more responsibility for the rest of my peers in my class. A lot of schools are under tremendous pressure because of standardized testing. And while I think that accountability is important, it's gotten warped into this thing where students are being taught how to answer bubbling questions before they're being taught how to really read, right? Um, and so what DEEP does is it gives a place with no tests and no bubble ins and no right answers. We give students an opportunity to learn because it's interesting, you know, and because it's fun and because it lets them discover things about themselves and each other and form connections. And I think that's incredibly valuable, you know, and ideally that's what all education should do. Instead of deep, the deep to me is a nice place. When I am, when I am in the deep, I feel free. Free like I am in the ocean. When I write, it feels like I am swimming with stingrays and dolphins and even fish too just like I am one of them. I feel like a colorful rainbow fish. 
that has lots of neo colors and simple ones flowing as it swim. I can't express myself like if I were a scared tiny sea snail peeking out of his dull shell um, un dull, a dull unnoticeable shell to see if any sharks are coming but it only comes out at night. I am that scared little sea snail but when I come to the deep I can come out, come out of my shell and into the bright light because I am not scared. I think that the land is my life and the deep is the ocean. Yes, I may be scared to be on land, but I'm not scared to be in the ocean. I belong in the deep.